challenge to the industry, securing skilled crews in today's marketplace. The International Maritime Organization declared 2010 the year of the seafarer. With this in mind, it was timely that we examine a growing concern that many companies in the shipping industry now face, the ability to recruit and retain sufficient numbers of skilled seafarers to staff and operate their vessel. Based on discussion with officials in the maritime sector, as well as with executives of various shipping companies, the shortage of qualified, well-trained officers and crew is an issue that has become evident over the last five years and is expected to become one of the most significant problems that the industry must address. Not only in countries with well-established shipping industries, such as in Europe and North America, but also on a worldwide basis. In fact, many would argue that it is the single most important issue, given the significance of shipping and transport to the global economy and the critical role of skilled crews in ensuring the safety of their vessel. The shipping industry is central to the global economy, annually transporting goods, oil and gas, foodstuff and commodities, manufactured products for import and export that account for approximately 90% of world trade. The global fleet of merchant ships is registered in over 150 countries and operated by more than 1 million crew members of all nationalities. Skilled and experienced crews are essential to the successful operation of today's technologically advanced vessel. As a result, this growing shortage of qualified seafarers could have a dramatic impact even when considered from just one perspective, the safe operation of a vessel. Since some 80 until 90% of accidents can be ascribed to human errors, it is critical that seafarers be well educated, able to follow orders, manage risks, and solve problems. With this in mind, we present this thumbnail sketch of some of the challenges that shipping companies must address in recruiting and retaining skilled officers and crew as well as some thought on action that the industry can take to address them. This report could not have been written without the participation of the many shipping professionals who generously shared their time and perspective with us, with special thanks to the president and directors of the Hellenic Chamber of Shipping for their valuable contribution to this work. Methodology we surveyed shipping companies around the world to get a better appreciation for how they are managing their crewing need. In this period, questions were asked to ascertain the following. Average number of crew employed on vessel, employment of cadets on board, nationalities of the officers and rating, average age, crew turnover rate, average salaries, a description of training institution and courses talk and the main difficulties faced by shipping companies. 23 companies responded, representing 1,125 vessels. We have grouped the result into three regions, North America, Europe and Middle East, South Africa and Asia Pacific region. Response from shipping companies confirm that crewing vessel with competent seafarers is a growing global problem and that crewing is high on the list of business issues for all shipping companies. The global fleet has far outgrown the supply of trained seafarers with an especially acute shortage of trained officers. The results of the survey show that the Philippines and India provide approximately 45% of the officers and 90% of the ratings. This phenomenon can be attributed to a number of factors including the development of marine training institutions, the absence of more attractive employment opportunities in these countries and the good English language skill prevalent among this population. Officers are compensated significantly higher than ratings due to the more demanding educational requirement they must satisfy and the greater responsibility they bear for the safe operation of a seagoing vessel. 
the shipping industry is striving to make a career in the field more attractive to young people, but faces numerous challenges, including the separation from friends and family while at sea. The desire of Generation Y to be socially networked at all time, the perception that the career in shipping involves a life at sea, as well as the recent negative focus on shipping due to environmental issues and piracy, among others. It came as no surprise that women are vastly underrepresented in a profession that entails much time away from home. In addition, the quality of marine education varies significantly by country, lacking universal degree standard so that education are readily recognized across borders. Shipping companies use a mix of recruiting methods depending on the circumstance and region. To promote growth in the supply of skilled crew members, companies and government will need to make the profession more attractive. Government will need to implement innovative incentive and tax rationalization program, and companies will face rising compensation and social benefit package. When all is said and done, we are optimistic that there is much that government and the industry can do to encourage the growth in supply of skilled seafarers. The Crew Pipeline The growth of fleet has outpaced the supply of crews for most shipping companies in Europe, North America, and other regions around the globe. In response, shipping companies have found it necessary to seek crews outside of their own countries to meet their needs. Most vessels require a crew of 20 until 25 personnel consisting of officers, master, first engineer, specialist technician, electrician, mechanics, and lower-level crew or ratings, deck hands, cook, and oilers. The average age of officers ranks between 35 and 45 years old as the training and experience required for promotion to the position of chief officer or chief engineer is at least 10 years. Countries that have national crew requirement can calculate how many students should enter and graduate from the merchant marine academies each year so that their numbers satisfy their crew requirement in the next decade. This calculation is based on numerous factors that affect the supply and demand of seafarers including numbers of vessels in fleet, number of vessels to be delivered in the future, average aid of seafarers, duration of mandatory training and seafaring experience, universities and career drop rate statistics, and average number of consecutive months on board.